Hello everyone, today we're gonna be testing the spark plugs. Um, so, uh, the reason why we're testing them is because yesterday when we were on the water, we experienced a drastic ra or a lack of power. The engine started vibrating like crazy. I could not go faster than 10, 15 kilometers an hour. Um, this boat should be able to pull 70 kilometers an hour with ease, okay? So uh, what we did, we checked earlier today, we checked spark plug wires for the um, consistent readings um, and uh, they were all fine. And also just recently we completed a test of um, a, a ignition uh, ignition coils six of them by using one good spark plug right uh, connected to every single wire okay so, and we got the essentially how you how you how you test it is you're looking for a spark coming out in here and we did record every single reading that's gonna be in the next video that this you know i got a spark in every every single from every single wire by using one spark plug okay so now the third the last test that i'm doing are the spark plugs okay there is nothing else i can test this is it if this thing doesn't work we are i really don't know what the problem is okay so here are the six spark plugs as you can see they are a little bit red here so they that tells me that they were painted during the uh, manufacturing stage of the uh, engine so what what uh, volvo penta does they actually paint uh, engines red so this the spark plugs were installed before the paint was applied and uh, they were just partially sprayed as you can see so these are original spark plugs this uh, this boat is a 2017 four winds um, with v6 uh, volvo penta 240 horsepower type j motor okay so it's 2017 this is a new generation engine uh, the fifth generation okay so anyways these are original spark, spark plugs all of them i can see the paint is on every single one some have less some have more but a little bit of red is here so this was done during the manufacturing stage of the engine so we're testing those um so how we're gonna test it we're gonna set it to ohms with the mul regular mul mul um, voltmeter okay i selected over here to thousands k all right as you can see i could test it set it to million or smaller ones i can set it to below 10 below 10 or right now i can set it to uh, over 10 in thousands okay so the the, the resistance will be uh, noted in thousands so what we are looking for is around five or six thousand resistance and how are we doing it so what we need to do we need to get to the proof to uh, um we need to touch both ends of the spark plugs um you do not touch this because this is always grounded what you need to uh, test is the continuity with between this and this so we're checking for resistance okay resistance not continuity or oh, continuity as well but anyways it's a resistance so this is how we do it okay we're gonna attach one prop here just hold it like this so this thing's not gonna roll this part back is not gonna roll and touch the, the little end over there that point okay now we get a reading of 5.5 thousand okay and another test I'm gonna do is this. I should not be getting any reading if I'm touching the body uh, here. If I'm getting something, that means the spark plugs is bad. There is a leak, leak somewhere between 
between the uh, that inner rod and the outside of the uh, spark plug. So this one is okay. There's no reading, and the rod gives us 5.6. So this one is considered good. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in good section. This is good. Let's go for the next one. How are you doing? Next one. Okay. Sometimes if it's dirty, it's not gonna give you a reading, so. So what you need to do, you need to take a little sandpaper, or if you have a little brush, I'm just gonna use a 400 grit sandpaper. Clean it up a little bit, gently, because this is a very gentle tip. on this end. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. So remember, I'm touching the little tip there. I'm not touching this, the body. Okay, I'm getting 5.15. Five. Five thousand resistance reading. Okay, five. This is K, K is in thousands, okay? So, it's okay. Now let me try the body. Oh, oh, we have a problem here. Okay, you guys see what's happening here? There is a leakage. Okay, one second, one second, there was a leakage here. Okay, you guys see this? This shouldn't happen. That means that between this body and the rod, there is a leakage, they are touching each other. Okay, so take a look. See, so this is a bad one. Let me try again over there. The tip. Actually, the tip doesn't give me anything. Again. That gives you nothing. Okay. So, anyways, what it gives me? Actually, no, it gives me zero. No, it gives me. It gives me five. It gives me five, but also the body. If I touch it here, it also gives me resistance. Look. 7,000, 7.9 thousand. That should not be happening. See, this should not be happening. This is a bad spark plug. Bad. Okay, great. So we got one good, one bad. Okay, let's go here, next. Sometimes what you need to do, see, like I'm touching here, I rotate it and tap it a little bit. Because sometimes if there is something loose inside, it may go to one side, but not the other. So like it's, it's better to kind of shake it a little bit and maybe rotate it. Just like in the previous, with the previous power plant. You could actually see if I had it on one side, it didn't really give me a reading. When I flipped it, it gave me a reading. So this one doesn't give me. This one is just jumping a little bit back and forth. Maybe because it's dirty. Let me just see. Let's give it a little bit of a clean. A little bit of a cleaning, guys. Just be gentle with the tip, okay? Because this is a very tiny tip, as you can see. See? Be very gentle on that. Okay. 
Okay. So this. Okay. 5.4 thousand. So the body is not giving me a reading when I'm touching the body here. The grounded body, which is good. There is no leakage on the inside, you can see. Okay, that's good. So this one. It's like it's showing, it's not showing. Okay, so it is showing. Okay. Still a little bit dirty, I could see it. 5.4. Anyway, so this one is good. Okay. Now let's go for the third one. Again, when you're using a sandpaper, don't use anything higher than 400, uh, lower than 400 grit because it's gonna be very abrasive. All you wanna do is is to give it a nice little clean. Oh, 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 check this out. This is not good. See? It leaks to the body. That's not good. That should not be happening. That reading should be zero. See? Instead, it's giving me 6,000. No good. Next, so we have two good, two bad. Okay, so let's, let's just clean this up before we start. to have a little tiny brush like a wire metal wire brush very soft maybe like a copper wire or aluminum or something I think the uh, steel is a little bit too abrasive for that anyways okay let's give this one a shot so far I'm very happy with the results because this tells me why the engine is not running properly this is the this losing two of those is gonna make your engine ra run really really rough okay i get no reading here on z which is zero it's supposed to be zero that's good okay but i'm also not getting reading here Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, I am getting a reading. 6.5, 6.4, okay. 6.4. Zero over here. That's how it should be, so zero on the body.
here on the body and this little tip this way so you guys can see it better this little tip that's it okay 6.4 so this one is the strongest nice okay so this one is good <sighs> okay we have one more to go so we have two bad ones and three good ones let's give it a, give it a little clean the last one So this one, this power plugs, they have resistors. That's why they are over five, 5,000 in rating. There's a resistor built inside. The resistor uh, prevents from uh, like interruption when you're running a battery, running a radio. You're not gonna be hearing any, any weird noises coming out. One second. There was one six, these ones are 5.2, 5.3. Most of them were fi in five, below 5.5, and one was over six. Okay, so this one seems to still be okay. I'm just double checking those guys to see if I'm getting zeros. Shake them up a little bit. That should be all zero, that's good. ones see no. that, that should that should be zero it's not so that's bad and I think this one was also showing up yeah six okay so you see this two are bad Good. But three of them are sort of within a 5.3, 5.4 range, and one is like 6.2 or 6.3. So I'm not sure. It's like you know, when I'm gonna be by the way, when you're replacing spark plugs, you should be replacing all of them. You don't just unless you're in a crisis, uh, financial crisis, and you cannot afford it, then replace the, at least but at least the bad ones, right? that two of them were no good. So, and the engine was really, really rough yesterday. That means that I was not getting a spark in my cylinder. 
I was getting a gasoline and I was smelling a gasoline coming from the from the engine uh, so from the exhaust because you know as you know there are only two things present inside the cylinder one is a gas that is injected under high pressure because this is a direct injection engine um, and a spark so you have a you have the uh, fuel under the pressure that's that is being ignited by the spark if spark is not present you don't get an ignition and the uh, fuel will pretty much exhaust through the exhaust okay and you may be smelling it and we did smell some fuel in the air that, that was the indication so anytime you smell fuel and your engine is running a little bit rough think about it okay this is probably your car so you're not getting a spark inside the chamber the cylinder it's inside your cylinder okay so alrighty so that's it I hope you like the video if you like it very much then uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't like it just just walk away uh, by the way, I bought this one just to test things out. This is not a right spark plug, but I did try to match the spark plug for the, uh, for the length. As you can see, they're almost identical. And the new one, by the way, let's check the reading of the new one. <sighs> okay, by the way, new one has R, so that means that there is a resistor in there. Okay. So let's first check at the body. Let's touch the body here. See, there's no leakage. So this is a good spark plug, at least from that point. But now we have to see if there is a, if, if that rod on the inside is continuous from this end to that little tip over there. You can barely see it. Four point four, four four point six, four point six. It has four point six resistance. Um, I don't know. Is it good? Is it, it's it's good. I just maybe it's not to the specification I, I want it to be. So for that reason, I'm gonna go to a dealer. And I'm gonna pick up the spark plugs that are applicable, that are suitable for this uh, for this engine. Okay. But anyways, I bought this for 10 bucks just to play with it, so, okay. And I bet you if I stick them in there, it's probably gonna run nicely. But who knows how long they're gonna last, so I better don't, don't risk things. I, I get a proper spark plug, okay. That is, that is designed for this, this engine, okay. I hope you liked the video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later, bye.